YouTube, Dan De Bricks here, back with another Star Wars comparison face-off, the Battle of the Imperial Landing Craft. On the right, we have our tried and tested contender from 2007. It is set 7659 Imperial Landing Craft, five minifigs, 471 pieces. On the left, we have our rookie contender from 2018. It is set 75221 Imperial Landing Craft, five minifigs, 636 pieces. So let's jump in to this side by side face off. For the cockpit of the Landing Craft, two very different designs. A lot more detail has gone into the build of the 2018 model but both look very good we have different ways of getting inside the model for the 2007 you have to actually remove the canopy and we do get a printed panel inside not a lot of detail plenty of room for your pilot for the 2018 it's actually just a flip up system again not a lot of detail, not even an instrument panel. I do believe there may have been a sticker to go on there that I haven't put on. For the weapons system on the 2018, what I like to refer to as the shoulder of the craft, you can see it's quite a bit of a gap there and they've tried to fill it in with the weaponry behind there and we do get some stud shooters on the side as well. With the 2007 model, it's nice and filled in. We get some missiles here and we also get a spring-loaded missile. And just by pushing that in, we can launch the missile. And they're a stack of fun, those. Looking underneath the models, and you do have to be careful picking up the 2018 model that you don't push down on these panels so it's a little bit tricky to pick it up but you can see we have landing gear underneath the ship and that's a very nice design for the landing gear clever use of pieces and for the old model a bit more sturdier to pick up we have again landing gear we have this clip at the front and we can unclip that, which is a little bit tricky. There we go, and I'll show you what that is for later. Moving to the back here, you can see the mechanisms for adjusting the wings. And right around to the back, again, we have another one of those clips, and we have this little play feature here. And if you lift those up, we drop out a couple of bombs. So that's very cool. From the rear of the models, both use a snot technique for the rear thrusters. I really like this complete build look for the 2018 model, but the 2007 model is very nice as well. Both models suffer from a little bit of gappage on the rear of the hatches here, although the 2018 models is a little bit more gappy. Now for the wings, the rear wings, the 2018 model is on a ratcheted system and you can get movement down to there and up to there. With the 2007 model, we actually have a more of a play feature where we can wind the wings down. And it's a nice smooth motion. And if we keep winding down, we'll see the range we have here you can get it down right down to the actually perfectly vertical and again going back up we can fold them right up back in on each other and you can hold them there just fine in any angle like that so it's a very nice mechanism to operate Along the top section of the rear of the ship, it is a little bit more gappy on the 2007 model. Maybe some tiles along there would have tidied that up a little bit. 
and for the 2018 that has been covered up quite nicely. Having a look at the midsection of the landing craft, both models use these big curved panels and I just think this is maybe finished off a little bit better on the 2018 model and with the 2018 model it's a matter of just opening the panels up to get inside and inside we have room to sit your sand troopers so you can get two on each side and we can also fold down the bottom panel and bring out a landing ramp to get your minifigs up and down so nice little play feature there with the 2007 model we can unclip these panels these clips front and back and what's really cool about this is once you do that the whole ship can lift up and fly away so very cool you can also just get into the midsection by lifting the panels up the same so you can get inside there but for extra play value we remove the main body of the ship and we have the whole midsection here you can see the working mechanism for the spring-loaded shooter we have a couple of seats in here so we can sit two troopers here and you can sit another two troopers either side of behind the spring-loaded shooters there so we can fit four minifigs in there and you can see we've got a little bit of weapon storage at the rear and then we have more weapon storage at the front there as well and here is the play feature for the bombs so the bombs just sit in there and when you lift this little trigger up here they just drop out like so so lots of good play features in the 2007 model so with the minifigures for the 2007 set we get an Imperial TIE Interceptor pilot which is unique to two sets and we get two Stormtroopers and two Sand Troopers which are exactly the same except we get the orange pauldrons for the Sand Troopers and they are unique to this set. For 2018 we get new Sand Troopers with some new printing get two troopers we get an Imperial shuttle pilot Obi-Wan Kenobi and R2-D2 I hope you're enjoying this comparison review so far but now it's time to pick a winner and this is going to be extremely hard for me to decide because holy dooly I love both of these models so to pick a winner I think we're gonna have to actually break it down a little bit and I'm going to try and convince myself to which one I like better. So let's talk about design accuracy. Well, to get some good pictures of this craft from the movie or some models is very hard to do. So it's a little bit debatable which one is more accurate. Whether the side panels here should be sloping or we have a, a raised section at the back or it's nice and flat all the way through there's not a lot of evidence so I think we just have to go with either model is fairly close the difference for me is probably in the cockpit section here I think the 2018 model is more accurate to how it should be for the overall look of the model itself I like the streamlined look of the 2007 model but I do prefer the all white color scheme or the mainly white color scheme of the 2018 model and while I do prefer the all white look on the 2018 model I do tip my hat at Lego for this more modeled look they're trying to get more of a used ship look and I I do like that as well what I do like on the 2018 model is having a little bit more covered up at the rear here than open at the back but I do prefer 
the more covered up shoulders, if you like, of the 2007 model. For the rear thrusters, I do prefer the look of the 2018 model. I just think it's a more cleaner look. But the 2007 model is not bad by any means. So, so far, I actually think we're probably running neck and neck still. So let's go to the minifigures. Both releases have five minifigs each. My favorite minifigs from both of these sets are definitely the new Sand Troopers. The printed Sand Troopers is just superb. What I don't like about the new set is the addition of R2 and Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan is not an exclusive minifigure and if you collect Star Wars we all have a thousand R2-D2s. It is an Imperial craft so if we look at the minifigs it's really only three versus five. With the 2007 model we get five Imperial Troopers. So we get a pilot and four Stormtroopers or two Stormtroopers, two Sand Troopers. I've always been a fan of these old Stormtroopers. I think they look fantastic. Some minifigs I think I'm going to have to lean to the 2007. Even though I much prefer the new Sand Troopers, I just think five Imperial characters versus three definitely has to go to 2007. So what about play features? Both have opening cockpits, both have adjustable rear wings, both have opening midsection panels where you can seat your minifigs inside. But this is where we start to have our big differences. With the rear wings, I do like the mechanism to lift your wings up and down for the 2007 model. On the 2018 model, we get a couple of stud shooters, but we actually get some spring-loaded missiles on the old 2007, and it's a very good feature to launch those missiles. We also have a mechanism to drop some bombs, and you can actually drop the whole midsection of the ship and really get in there and have a good play. So without a doubt, the play feature goes to 2007. And last of all, display presence, or just the actual displayability of the two models. And again, I think it's neck and neck. They both look absolutely fantastic. So who's going to win this face-off? Well, I think it's by a nose, but I'm going to go for the 2007, simply for having five Imperial minifigs and having much better play features. But don't let that stop you if you're wanting to add the 2018 model to your collection because it is a beautiful model and I'm very happy to have both of these ships in my collection. Well crikey, I have had a stack of fun putting this video together, really enjoyable. I'm a big fan of the Imperial Landing Craft. I hope you really have enjoyed this comparison review as well. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And please check the video description below for more links and extra content. So a big thank you for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.